Hello everyone. Welcome to Talent Master Talent Tutorial Series. In today's video, we will learn how we can connect to SOAP endpoint or SOAP service from Talent. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe it. And if you like my videos, then please share with your friends as well. So in Talent, we have T-SOAP component which connect to SOAP service. Let's see how we can connect. Here I have found one SOAP service which convert numbers to words. For example, if I have given 236 in number over here and I am invoking this service then it will return me 236 as a response. Let's invoke this service from talent. So we have T SOAP component in talent. Let's go to the configuration. So firstly, we will have to uh, specify the endpoint to which we are going to connect. So I am copying this URL, this entire URL and putting over here. The next thing I will need is SOAP message or SOAP envelope. SOAP envelope, I will get it from the request part. So this request part I am copying and putting inside the double code. Since I'm putting this entire envelope in the inside the double quote, the other double quotes need to be as kept. Next thing, I will uh, create the logro component and connect these two component using main row. I'll change the table mode and run the job. Okay, so we have received the response, but uh, I'm getting some error. Let's see what is the error. So here I forgot to mention any number 1090 I am putting. Let's run the job again. Mm, there is some other error. Okay. So we have received response in the body section and the response we are receiving is in form of an XML. Uh, so we uh, to extract the particular column we will have to use the T uh, extract XML field component over here. I am connecting this to T extract XML field and uh, the XML field is our body uh, what is the loop over here okay, so this is the loop this is the loop x path query And what is the particular field? Let me check what is the field. Field name is number result, number two word result. Okay. Uh, create a schema result. Do hmm. text path query. Okay, next path query. Okay, we are done. We will need one more T logro component. Now let's run the job. Mm. So 
so there is an error in valid x path expression okay let's deactivate these two component and run the job okay let's copy uh, let's copy the body section and get the xml path okay so this is the loop x path query okay let me activate this component again and run the job Okay. Now we have received proper response in t log row two component. So we are we have given input as one zero nine zero. Let's check once again. Mm, yes, one zero nine zero. We have provided input and we are receiving one thousand ninety in output. So this is how you can use these soap uh, component to invoke uh, any soap service. Uh, there are some other configuration as well like uh, when you work in your uh, in the real time project you might need authentication as well so you have to just uh, check this uh, checkbox and provide username and password over here so this was about the t sub component let me know if you have any concern while uh, using this component thank you